He watched the news earlier with the matriarch of his family. Here's 9 News reporter Katie Eastman with the verdict through their eyes. What does that say at the bottom? The what her eyes can't see. Jurors reach verdict. Her grandson reads. It's humbling to be able to see kind of from whence we've come and kind of where we are. The two came together to witness history. You have a prediction? They share a screen, but not the same sentiment. They'd be not guilty. I don't know. I don't care. You know, older people, we just accepted what it was. At 100 years old, Maristella Holcomb sees the same thing she always has. What happened on that street was wrong. This has been going on forever, all my life even. Police have killed black people before without consequence. Eric Garner, Michael Brown, Freddie Gray, Sandra Bland, Lando Castillo, Laquan McDonald. Say their name. Stephon Clark. Generations below her know this. And now Dante Wright and Adam Toledo. But Quincy Shannon holds on to hope. Oh, here we go hope that a jury in Minneapolis makes a decision that creates change. I've given faith in the system before and it hasn't worked. When the world saw George Floyd die under the knee of a police officer, Quincy called for justice. We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count one, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th century. In caption, verdict count two, find the defendant guilty. Verdict count three, find the defendant guilty. This verdict wow. agreed to this 20th day of April. In his eyes, that call for justice was answered for now. Well, I'm thankful that they're celebrating. I'm, I'm thankful for the cheers. In my heart, I'm celebrating as well. But you can't be mad all the time. And if it keeps happening, you have to find moments to just breathe. And so I think seeing the cheers from some of those who are outside of the courtroom is one of those moments of, like, you can take a breath. We've had a lot of misfortune, meanness, just because of being black. In her eyes, it's a small step. At least now some of it is being shown. As the world watches officers escort out one of their own. We're adjourned. Wherever you go, people are talking about the verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial. A sigh of relief for many who have watched the trial from beginning to end. Nine News reporter Kelly Rinke 